Good morning. Today is Friday. It's December the 17th. The sun is shining today. We just can't see it here in town. You know, we're coming up on the day of the year that has the least hours and the least minutes of sunshine of, of all the days of the year. The winter solstice is next Tuesday. The great news is, great news for me, in my opinion, is that Wednesday begins the increase of daylight. So so Tuesday, uh, we turn that corner and we, we begin the, the path around again. Numbers chapter 6 and verse 25 has a prayer request slash blessing uh, that, that is part of a very well-known uh, prayer request, blessing, benediction that Moses spoke to and for the, the people of Israel that encompasses number 6, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Verse 25 says, The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Now, uh, the verse that we just read is the first time in Scripture that the word shine appears as a verb. It's used earlier in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3 as a noun where the Lord God says, let there be light. God made the light. God spoke the light into existence in Genesis 1-3. And we know true light comes only from God since God is light, John said in 1 John 1-5. So the sun may not be visible today because it's overcast, but it still shines above the clouds. It's there and it's shining uh, we just can't see it. The world depends on the sunshine, S-U-N, for physical life. We understand all that, or maybe we don't understand photosynthesis and all that, but we, we get the idea. The sun, S-U-N, shines and brings life. We continually need, we must receive the sunshine, S-O-N, in our hearts to sustain spiritual life. The S-U-N for physical life, the S-O-N, for spiritual life. And Moses's prayer in the text that we read there occurs uh, in some form seven other times in scripture. Let me give these to you very quickly. First is Psalm 31, 16, make your face to shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Second time is Psalm 67 and verse one, God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. The, the third Psalm number 80 and verse 19. It's also in verse 3 and, and verse 7. Turn, a, turn us again, O Lord, God of hosts. Cause your face to shine, and we shall be saved. Uh, the sixth one, Psalm 119 and verse 135. Make your face to shine upon your servant and teach us your statutes. And the last one, the seventh one, is in Daniel uh, chapter 9 and verse 17. O our God, hear the prayer of your servant and his supplication. Cause your face to shine upon your sanctuary that is desolate for the Lord's sake. So we see these times where this prayer in some form is repeated by uh, different people, mostly the psalmist. And then, of course, as we said, Daniel. Paul, the apostle, wrote to young Pastor Timothy, 1 Timothy 6.16, 6, saying to him uh, that God dwells in the light which no man can approach. And the Lord shines on us for salvation. He shines on us for spiritual illumination. He shines on us for daily guidance only through his son, S-O-N, the word made flesh, as John uh, chapter 1 and verse 4 said, in him was life and the life was the light of men. So we, we, we're thankful for the light that God gives to us. 2 Corinthians, Paul wrote in 4, 6, for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord for light. I love the sun. Uh, I'm thankful for sunshine, even if it's cold, if it's, if it's sunny. Uh, to me, that makes a big difference, and I'm glad for it. Even on an overcast day like this, the sun is shining. And even on a day when it seems spiritually overcast, Thankfully, the Lord is still shining. He shines in our hearts. He illuminates our mind. He gives us guidance. His word is a lamp and a light for our, for our feet and our path, and he shows us the way to go. I'm glad for that. That's the good news for today. It's Friday. It's December 17. What will you do with it? Amen. Let's take a minute. Let's pray together. Lord, we come to you thankful for the light that you have given to us, not only the light of the sun, but we thank you, Lord, especially for the light of your son, Jesus, who shines in our hearts, Lord. We thank you for that. We thank you for him. We thank you for all that you do. 
Lord, bless your people today. Lord, we have many people still uh, needing a healing in their physical body. Lord, will you bring that according to your word? We're thankful for the atonement and the provision of physical healing that you offer to us as well as our spiritual healing. I pray that for your people today, Lord. Touch each one, strengthen each one, bring encouragement and health. We thank you for your help. Lord, as we uh, look to the weekend, we pray that you'd be honored and glorified in our meetings on Sunday. Lord, be, uh, be exalted and praised. We thank you for the privilege that we have to gather together. And uh, we ask you to come and take your place among us, your rightful place, as Lord of our lives individually, as Lord of our congregation corporately. Lord, and accomplish your plans and your purposes, not only in our congregation, Lord, but in many places around the city, uh, around the world. Uh, congregations meeting on Sunday. Lord, bless them with your presence, even as you promised that you would. We thank you for your goodness. Watch over us, we pray. Bless our homes and families in the name of your Son, the light of the world. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, God bless you. Uh, it's Friday. We'll be together on Sunday morning. Classes at 930. Worship at 1030. We'll pray together. We'll worship together. We'll hear the word. The last Sunday before Christmas. And then we'll, of course, have our Christmas Eve service, 5 o'clock on Christmas Eve, uh, Friday the 24th here in the sanctuary. One hour service, a little bit less than one hour, hopefully. And if you can make it, we look forward to seeing you. Pray you have a great weekend, and I hope to see you on Sunday. God bless you.